kati ya verasidika maroda if those were the only women in the world yeah. if if verasidika and 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 huda yeah. Were well, the only women in the world and I was asked to choose who I would marry yeah. I would 100% go for Huda Why I don't put out my personal life is because I'm an introvert number one. And number two, I just like my life being private. I I don't like flaunting my my house, you know, uh my office, you know. I'm not that kind of person. And again, like I say, that's who I am. So if someone else want to flaunt whatever they have, even their bedrooms, what they are eating, that's them. Let them do it. Whatever works for someone, let them do it. For me it works for me that I don't you know expose my private life. It really works for me. I like living a quiet life. I don't like a lot of attention, you know. I'm a quiet person generally. So that's why I don't invite people or the media the world into my private life. And I like it that way. Maybe over time it will change but <laughs> there was a day you did an interview a uh, Chipukizi show. Uh. And a lady akajitokeza akisema kwamba amekuwa akitafuta sana jiko anaweza kumbuka ile kwa kuonea ah what happened after after hapo did you solve the issue yako na <laughs> well we talked and uh, we resolved it uh-huh. yeah so right now are you married i'm not married <laughs> well by the way you said you don't want to be pressured to marry like I'll get married soon to, to yeah I'll get married soon um, and when the right time comes uh, but I think marriage is again personal me I don't do things because others are doing I do things because it's the right time and I celebrate every phase of my life so when that time comes I will get married and I will make it public on who I will marry and I believe it's going to be good But why we do all this time? Well, there are people who got married much earlier than me and where are they now? <laughs> so, <laughs> eh, until the right person comes. Okay. And everyone's life is scheduled differently. So for me, I like following the schedule that has been set for me. If it's not the right time, it's not. Kuna list yenye kutoka juzi ya top searched musicians wa hapa Kenya. Yeah, yeah. And of course tuliona list ya hapa Kenya that is number one alikuwa ni Diamond, Milipola alikuwa na mafona, Calligraph alikuwa number 8. Do you think wasani wa Kenya hawai kibidi labda kukua top hapa Kenya kwa list kama hizo? Um to be honest Kenyan artists are really really working hard. I must congratulate them. If you look at the quality of music that is being released the kind of airplay the media is g- actually I must congratulate the media for giving Kenyan music a lot of airplay i mean that has really pushed Kenyan music to another level i mean i'm so proud of someone like Otile Brown he is now competing with the likes of uh, Diamond Kina Reeva you know that to me is incredible that Kenyan music is uh, is is growing by the day uh, and Kenyan musicians are working harder but then again it depends on the content you're releasing every you see willy paul is always on willy paul is i mean he's a genius i must say because he he's always on the faces of people and that makes <laughs> makes it you know possible for him to be the most searched um artist in kenya you know and even being number 10 like calligraph is it number 10 or 8 number 8 i mean that's not easy to be searched that much So uh, I must congratulate them for you know all the work they do the work they put in I know how hard it is sometimes to get content out there. Now you will get or just some quick five questions. Okay. Kama kwa hiyo sikuja tu bila na kuja na majibu yake. Mhm. Ah, you can give me a chance to kufunga dread unaweza. Mimi siwezi funga dread. No. Why? 
It's just not my style. Dread is not my style. I love ballad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite meal? My favorite meal would be ugali. I really love ugali. Very soft ugali with chicken mm. and uh, some spinach. Mm. That really works for me. And some avocado. Mm. I love that. Okay. If you have a chance to talk to me, contact us at Wawiri. I'm going to talk to you later. Mm. Kati, ya will call on the Bahati. I will miss my brother. Wewe unataka kunipatia vita. I like them both. They are both good. So I wouldn't delete any. Yeah. yeah. Na ukipewa chance uh, wa can show ya ya mmoja wao utapendia nani? Willie Paul definitely. Willie Paul is a performer. I mean truth be told, Willie Paul is a great performer. Mm-hmm. Bahati is a great content creator. So he he has a lot of clout around him. Mm-hmm. So they both have their their strengths. Mm-hmm. But for a show, mm-hmm. Willie Paul any day. Bahati ni mzuri cloud. Bahati na jua cloud. Mm. Yeah. Na na ukitoa chance uwanie kiti cha bunge hapa mm. kwetu tawania ndio gani? Kiambu kwetu, Lari. Mm. Mm. Ani nini pale kati ya bunge yenye haiko kwa sai? Job creation. If I can create more jobs for my people, mm. it means they are more stable. Because what what the essence of having all these other things and people can put food on the table in the evening. So for me, I would focus more on job creation. Now, uh, if uh, you as an artist in Kenya, um, okay, a chance say, uh, you marry one and dump one to the other. <laughs> that the uh, veracity of my order. Who would you choose to marry? Who would you dump? <laughs> if those were the only women in the world. Mm, yeah. If if Vera Sidika and 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 Huda yeah, the were the only women in the world, and I was asked to choose who I would marry, yeah. I would 100% go for Huda. I find her, you know, you know, I like, you know, not very big women. It's not it's not my preference. Yeah. And and Vera is good, you know, she's beautiful and all that. But my preference, like I say, ugali, you know, ka avocado, ka chicken. That's that's a preference. There's nothing wrong with chapati, there's nothing wrong with any other food, mm-hmm. but it's about preference. My preference would 100% be on Huda. So you like them nachos? The 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 tight the tight one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it big, I like it small. Because <laughs> I'm also small, so uh, <laughs> so when I want to come I call him zero kubo to handle zero kubo. What? Wacha calligraph, calligraph ataweza hivi. Calligraph ataweza kubwa. Now if you given a chance to to choose this this cars the ones in the zone au kuna Mercedes Benz na kuna BMW na kuna uh to say Audi which which car would you choose? Between Mercedes, Audi and BMW, I'll mm-hmm. definitely go for Mercedes. Why? Mercedes is more classier than all of them. Yeah, any day. And what do you think is the, the full meaning of BMW? Be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd love to ninge pendo tu ni jalango ujumbe mmoja. Sasa hizi bila yameamua kuingia kwa siasa. Well, Jalango has decided to go into politics. All the best. I think he's going to get that seat. He's really popular. Um uh, and and I know he has a lot of following. Uh, and he has capacity to help people he is already doing that on his platform so i have confidence in his candidature i believe he can get it i mean jaguar was able to get it so it's possible for him to get it and i wish him all the best na kuna watu walikuwa na criticize na mwambia kukuwa na followers imaanishi kwa ground kwa hiyo ndio mtaani people will always have opinions so what you decide to do do it let let the result either justify you or disqualify you but for me i believe in trying i believe in going for it because if you listen to people this one will tell you some some different and the other person will tell you something different you see don't listen to people if you believe in something go for it people will always talk you fail they'll talk you succeed they'll talk you 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 somewhere in the middle they'll talk people will always talk so this is my message to jalango go for it if you believe you can you can clean it mm. go for it now just uh, just asking if you are you are given a chance 
If I was given a, um, if I was to vie for any seat, uh, of course I would probably go for governor. Uh-huh. I would, I would go for, I mean, I mean, honestly, which which other party would I go for, honestly? It's even it's even the viewer can know which one I would go one, for. <laughs> of course, it's Uda. Uh, Uda is the party. Yeah. <laughs> so you are either endorsing a Williams president. I mean, I am entitled to support anybody. Uh, I can support Uda. I can support any other party. Everybody is entitled to. Me, me I don't. If I want to do something, I do it. Mm. So for now, me, I'm feeling Uda. Mm. Yeah, Uda is the party. Yeah, so for president Any time, root of a president. Mm. Mm. Now, if, if you are a <laughs> you are a musician, on a particular Sami or he when I do political campaign, on a tour in Nimo, example, if you are going to be there, would you do that for Uda? Give him the chance. Would I support Uda in yeah. campaigns? Yes, and uh, compose a song for them. I wouldn't mind. Mm. I would support them. Why not? Now, I just want to know, uh, okay, I'm going to be a show. Oh, can you say, like, uh, currently, is it a show of a Like, uh, the approx- uh, how much you would charge for a show? <laughs> and also, to add on that, we don't be here. This is a condo in Yulian called Tangufura Tidit. Mohadara. Mohadara, yes. Ah. Yeah. Um, of course, right now I'm not performing uh, because I'm, 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 I'm quite busy. Mm-hmm. And the other reason is I've not been releasing music. When you see with music, it's who is hot at the moment. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how music works. Um, so, but when, when I was really, really performing then, I mean, I used to make some good money. Mm-hmm. Um, my Mohadara album really, really sold out. I remember Mohadara, when it hit the album, in fact, I remember I was, I was doing um, tours in Nyeri. I was going to high school, and my brother called me. He's like, wow, you need to come back. Your, your album is selling like a hot cake. So I came back. You know, we had to set up a shop because we used to do around 1,000 copies per day. You know, so wase walikuwa na lala kwa shop, wakipack CDs. We used to sell a thousand copies every day, and that is actually, you know, what helped me to turn around from, you know, my predicament. Now your first your huge payment, what did you, how did you spend it? You uh, know, <laughs> so at least this one I got it for my first payment as an artist. Of course, uh, you know, I needed to settle in. I, I, did, I, I, was, I was in the village at that point, you know, so I didn't have a place of my own. So I shifted from there, I got a place of my own, I bought a car and, you know, um, furniture and all that. And mm-hmm. I settled in. And, yeah. Now that you uh, are to Jakub and Nimo, are you planning maybe come back to Jakub in an album or maybe an EP? That's the uh, when I decided to come back, when the, the time is right, since I have too many songs, uh, remember I told you I have a studio, so when I have an idea, I record. So I have so many ideas, so we'll just go into the catalog that we have, and we'll choose probably 10 or so songs and release as an EP or as an album. And so in terms of content, I have enough content. Okay. Yeah. Now, what what is the worst thing that ever happened to you in your life? At this age, the worst thing that's ever happened to my life. Um, wow. Maybe when when I lost a lot of money in a business, you know, I lost millions in a business, and that really was quite shaky for my life, what? like five years ago. What business was it? We were importing stuff from Vietnam, so. You know, in the process, I lost a lot of money because some of my co-directors could not raise the money and I had already raised the money for the products. So I lost the money. So that was quite significant for me. That is it, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. That's it? Yeah. yeah.